in this video i want to show you a great little tactic that you can use to beat man to man in madden 22 it's a route that is back in madden 22 in full swing it's going to help you beat man it's going to help you beat um some of the meta man coverage the way people are playing man coverage with a shade underneath this is a really really good route for that if they're not if they're taking away your zig this is a great play for shade underneath man-to-man -man coverage and we're going to show it to you at a trip side in of course trip side in i think is the best offense in the game or the most complete offense and if you want to learn my entire trips tight end offense i'm going to put a link in the description below to join my patreon for just ten dollars you'll be able to get access to all of my man 22 offensive and defensive guides i've got a ton of material out of the trips but i also got a ton of material out of other stuff like bunch and spread and new trips i've got great defensive ebooks as well out of big nickel and three three five wide and um, some of the other stuff like nickel triple three through five will all kinds of defenses over there so if you want the most ebooks and i think some of the best ebooks in the community make sure you check out that patreon that'll be linked in the description below and we're doing some really cool stuff in preparation for madden 23 over there trying to kind of walk through some of the uh, real core conceptual teaching um, and basic teaching that i think people need to have um, but we're actually going to kind of combining that with some advanced level teaching um, just in terms of how you can actually prepare right now for Madden 23. So if you want to check out that Patreon, that's in the description. The play we're talking about today is PA shot post out of the trip side in and really going to talk about the wheel route as one of the most underrated man beaters this year, um, especially for the way most people like to run man to man. And the way most people like to run man to man is they like to run this cover one robber out of nickel three through five wide. They're going to shade outside and underneath. And then typically they're going to man that blitzing guy up on the running back and then they're going to kind of user the middle linebacker now why this is so good is because when they shade outside and underneath you'll notice that this wheel on the left is going to get a step on that guy and i've got a window to be able to throw it over the top of him now this is another thing that a lot of people have started doing so because of that the adjustment that the opponents have made is they basically put this guy in an inside quarter and why they put this guy in an inside quarter is essentially so that he can play um actually let me change my adjustments i apologize um but the reason they put him in an inside quarter is so that he can play that wheel route on that side of the field so let me show you you'll see what i'm talking about it's not just so he can play the wheel but he'll play every every route from the number three receiver he is going to basically be what i call a bracket or a topper and he's gonna top every route. So he's gonna really help guard uh, wheel routes. He's gonna help guard corner routes, as you can see here. See how he just glues him, and it just bags the it just bags the player because now you've got basically an inside-out bracket coverage on him, and you can't really run anything. Um, and this has been one of the best one of the best tips of the year, which we actually I think dropped. I want to say in September. Um, on the channel about a really good effective way to, to stop this is to do this inside quarter trick So what can you do about it? Well, the easiest thing to do is to motion and so what I like to do with this formation here um, You can there's a couple of ways you can go about it, but really what I like to do um, is I'm gonna take my tight end here and I you can leave him blocking or you could use him in routes against man I actually think the tight end is probably the best man beater in the formation and the running back is the second best man beater so why would I want to put triangle on a route right so what we're gonna do here and, and you can do it differently than I'm, I'm showing you today but we're gonna use this crosser to Scotty Miller or this s post and that's up to you you can pick one whichever one you like I like the s post and then we're gonna take our tight end and we're gonna put him this is if you know it's or it's very likely it's gonna be man to man um, we're going to put our tight end on a smart routed in route, or if you want to put him on a tight end for his post, you can. I think the smart routed in route or the drag um, are, are better routes. Okay, I just I just do. Okay, for for this purpose for beating man to man, and then with the running back, we're going to put him on. You could do a couple things. You can put him on out. I like to put him on a wheel. Okay, and then we're just going to motion this guy to the right. And we're going to block him right here so he's going to kind of serve like our blocking tight end what you notice is we can throw the wheel now against this coverage because that inside quarter is no longer going to match him like he was uh like he was previously so if there's an inside quarter here on the left it's really kind of irrelevant we'll show you 
So now you see how I get this massive step over the top of this and can throw it in that little window. So what this does is it forces them to have to play cover two man because they can't shade underneath. So they either have to shade over top or they have to play cover two. So now they have to have this deep half defender. Okay. What I like doing, another another trick of the trade, if you wanna if you wanna leave the play action blocking, you can put the tight end on a corner, you can put Miller on a slant. This is another way to beat me in out of this formation. And basically your read, you're gonna look to your corner first, quick, no, slant, and then you've got this coming in to split the cover two over the middle for a you know a one play or at least a big play against cover two man. So now they need an inside third over here so some, they, need, they need an inside third like this okay so they need an inside third to be able to stop this bomb or this route combination and then what you can do if they're not going to deep half though this one's not as um it, it's kind of there um it's not like crazy crazy good but it's kind of there audible to verticals and you have this little angled streak and what i like to do with this is streak circle come back square streak the tight end and in route the running back so i have a couple check downs if it is man to man on the left and then we're just going to run this and we're going to kind of snap while he's here and a lot of times if they shade underneath he'll get open if not just check it down to your running back and live to play another down but if people a lot of people like to shade underneath out of this cover one robber i'm just telling you from my experience a lot of people want to shade this down because it's going to play whip routes and stuff like that a little bit better so if you can have something like even this route to the to, to the tight end for example this is going to be pretty decent so you'll see here um you know you might be able to get this over the top or you can even cut it off right there um you know but just simple fade routes uh i think are fairly effective i'll give you one more example so i'm shading outside i'm shading underneath and you know we're going to try to we're going to try to cook up a, 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 deed, a beater on the side. One easy thing you could do is audible to bunch verticals, which is a really quick audible. Um, but I won't go over that today. But what we can do is we can come back out in this. If you want to be in, it, 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 it's up to you what you want to do it out of. But I like doing it out of this. So we're going to motion Mike Evans to the right, put him on a fade. And then we're going to um, you know, drag the tight end. And we're just going to snap the ball kind of right here while he's in motion. A lot of times, you see how he gets that misalignment? And now this thing, it's a matter of speed. He's just not fast enough. But if you've got a 99 speed guy there in mud or somebody that's fast, that can get over the top of that coverage as well. Um, and then the last, I guess I will show you the bunch verticals thing. So if they're, if you're in a situation where they're doing that a lot and they're man to man, and they're like, they're like, you know, it looks like this, if you will. Okay. Um, what you can do is just go to bunch verticals and just snap the ball quick on them. This wheel on the right, if there's not a third, he's gonna get over the top again. So that's how you can kind of use wheels to beat man to man, and you can do it on either side. So what this causes in the defense is they can't shade underneath. So they have to play kind of more of a basic defense. So like they're gonna play in a basic cover one robber. Well, a basic cover one robber, your motion slants, your corners, some of that stuff is a lot more vulnerable uh, in here so you'll see the tight end corner much more open in that kind of a kind of a situation so that's how you can deal with the shade underneath man to man meta with wheel routes one of the most underrated routes for beating man this year you're able to get over the top because the underneath coverage kind of dumbs out when they they try to come under on the flat and then they're wheeling up top so it's a great way to be able to beat man to man thank you for watching the video if you want to learn more about this offense Everything is available. All of our ebooks are available by joining the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of our Madden ebooks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.